Alright, so good day. Uh, let's talk about the telling the story and techniques and delivery. Uh, this is for, well, when you want to um, story tell in multimedia. So, according to Vera Nazarian, I'll tell you a secret. Old storytellers never die. They disappear into their own story. So, they don't, they never die. Uh, maybe they just uh, disappear from current story they create a new story or creating another story so now um, as introduction uh, the telling of stories is tantalizing art the magnetism of a good story is strong it both pulls in the teller and draws in the audience so even if you just share a hilarious tale worthy of a stand-up comic, you cross the threshold into a world of the imagination made of nothing but thin air. The very simplicity of the art is deceptive in its power to move an idea, create an experience, or produce a drama. Contributing factors is that members of the storytelling audience become co-creators in the art. So good thing about about storytelling a good storyteller uh, good story is uh, there is a yung magnetism no it draws people pag maganda yung pagkaka story mo no um you control people you can uh what you can magnet people it attracts at- attentions no and sabi nga natin the sim- the very simplicity of the art is deceptive in its power to move an idea so it can move an idea and then uh, it create an experience so from an idea from an idea um, now you power to move an idea you have an idea you tell the story your your idea and then um, the your your, your um, idea can manipulate your audience no, sabi natin, you can catch their attention, you can spend their uh, time. Pwede mong uh, sabi natin na i- i- their time gagamitin nila yon in listening or consuming your storytelling. No? And by 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 um by consumption of your of your of your storytelling, no? It create an experience, an experience na yung pumapasok sa isip ng iyong audience yung mga sinasabi mo uh, para nilang naranasan kung ano yung gusto mong uh, maranasan nila o sabihin natin yung sa story ng yung kwento no uh, it create an experience for your audience kaya may mga ibang storyteller na alam mo yun ang sarap ang sarap pag, ang sarap pakinggan pag siya yung nagkwento because of the experience yung nakcreate na experience ng audience while listening or watching yung work yung yung ginagawa ng storyteller na yon no and of course kasama doon is to produce a drama and a contributing factor is that members of the storytelling audience yeah we have members of the storytelling audience uh, become co-creators in the art so it, it, why it can be why your audience or your members ng yung audience become co-creators because basically yung kinikwento mo is just an idea and then yung imagination yung nandun na yun sa ano eh nandun na yun sa audience mo so that's why it became they became co-creator in the art so an extraordinary an extraordinary event demonstrated the stunning truth of that co-creation I was to be the uh, I was to be the dinner uh, entertainment for hundreds of teachers in massive all-purpose room in public school with a formal stage at one end and cafeteria tables scattered throughout the clatter of the buffet service and the din of voices echoed in the brightly lit institutional hall i stood in front of a dusty closed curtain on the edge of the stage gripping a handle gripping a handheld microphone preparing to tell the story of uh Sekehera Zaid and her murderous husband Sultan Sakirara 
sakririyar. Yeah. There was no spotlight. I stood in the shadows, waiting for a silence that never came. I was especially nervous because I'd invited a theater friend to observe my performance who was the Tony Award-winning Artistic Director of Southern California Repertory Company. As I began to tell the tale of uh, Seherazade, The first narrative of the thousand and one nights, the background noise in the hall lesson, lessened. Instinctively, instinctively, I grew stuck still with no hand gesture or body movement at all. Somehow, I knew that the more focused I was on voice production, the more the restless audience would listen. I felt like a statue, a, dis- a disembodied live voice off to the side of the stage with no cameras, no stage set, no lighting, and no supporting cast. I abandoned my dramatic style. My tall theater friend, Marty, was standing along the sidelines watching. Afterwards, over drink, he commented on the storytelling performance as a tribute to the human imagination, both mine and that of the audience. That bare, naked, stripped-down presentation highlighted the essential dynamic of the art, a shared production of story by both teller and listeners. So telling a story is like painting a picture with words. So, uh, yes, I mean, a story is like painting picture with words. So, sab- it's that the storytelling should be very descriptive. No, storytelling is an amazingly inexpensive art, yeah. Kasi nagsasalita ka lang, no? Wala ka namang ginagamit masyado. The there are there is really nothing else needed besides the live human voice, listeners, and clear story focus. Your inner concentration on the images embedded in a story drives your voice production to create the word pictures that every listener sees in his or her own way. It's triangulation of creativity among teller, story, and listener that resonates and continues to develop throughout the telling. So, there is triangulation. Tatlo kayo, no? Triangulation. Tatlong bahagi na they are all uh, creative, doing creative uh, creative stuff, no? Uh, to, to That's why we contribute, no? You contributor. Not, if you are the storyteller, you have your audience contributing dun sa art. Kasi nga, on their own way, in-imagine nila yung sinasabi mo. No? And of course, the story is an art form. No? And, uh, yeah, you, as a teller, um, yung way mo ng pagbibigkas, pagsasabi ng mga information, ng kwento, is uh, relevant doon sa yung creation of the art or yung creation of the idea or drawing of the idea doon sa isipan ng iyong audience. But how do you create an inner concentration strong enough to maintain focus in challenging setting? That's the question. So how does the teller create the, ima- the images that everyone can see? The following steps are designed to assist you in doing just that. So there are seven steps to storytelling. So, guidebooks promise to take you from here to there to becoming an accomplished expert in a field. I want to take you along some well-trodden steps, the pathway of men- minstrels, uh, trebadors, and shamans, and sometimes of conmen. Many practice the art of illusion, but authentic personal stories have the undeniable power to connect. These seven steps are proven to work. They have demystified the storytelling art for many thousands trained in the world weaving storytelling project. These steps concentrate in the internal elements of framing processes and they do not reduce the art to a superficial set of delivery skills. Taken one by one, each step adds to the depth of storytelling experience so that it is unforgettable one. So, ito yung seven steps. No? They, these are the seven steps or the basic technique of storytelling. So, yung number one is you have to select a story you want to tell. Um, sa madaling salita, if you are about to tell a story, kailangan ikaw mismo, no? I- selected mo ito. Ikaw, ikaw yung choice mo yon. Yun yung, sto- yung story na yun. Um, kasi, the more... Um, 
ma- uh, the more natural yung selection ng story ng storyteller is the more organic or sabihin parang natural din yung pagkakakwento niya kasi nga choices mo yun no? mahirap magkwento ng kwento na hindi mo trip hindi mo gusto no um ayun ma- uh, mahirap yun at uh, sabihin may chances din na hindi mo rin maikwento ng maigi yung story because yung yung nararamdaman mo na hindi mo gusto yung story mo can be a hindrance no in the way of storytelling and then learn the structure and frame the story in sections so uh, katulad ng pinag-uusapan natin nung una di ba yung sa ating uh, sa yung sa natin na pinag-uusapan na um, part of the storytelling di ba yung simula yung introduction rising action climax downward action and then yung resolution, di ba? So, those are the sections of story and then you have to structure, no? Yung yung kwento mo doon. Alin dito yung umpisa? Alin dito yung rising action? Alin dito yung climax? Alin dito yung rise, yung, yung downward na na action and then resolution? Mahalaga yun, no? Kasi nga, um, para, alam mo yun, if you know the structure and frame of the story is kahit bago baguhin pa or magbago pa yung way or words na ginagamit mo in storytelling as long na alam mo yung structure it will be helpful for you no visualize the settings and characters yan i discuss naman natin yan isa-isa no and visualize uh, see the action take place as if you're watching a silent movie tell the story aloud yan using your voice to project images you visualize learn the story by heart not word for word and uh, practice telling the story until it comes naturally ang po- ang pinaka aim natin is when you tell a story you want it to be to appear like very natural uh, like you very uh, uh, under- uh, understand the story and therefore um pagwalibalik ta rin man yun no kaya mong ibaliktad o oh, i mean ay kwento ulit-ulit yung story so now let's talk about yung yung isa-isa isa-isahin natin yung yung part ng seven steps no sabi sa number one is story selection no throughout the, the first three chapters we've discussed uh, the model many ways to find select and create a story worth telling using example of popular story teams from a diverse group of contributors. We've shared a variety of tips for story selection. Some storytellers follow their emotional charge and recalling an experience. Some use an object, a photo, a prompt, a journal, or a, journal, or a writing ex- exercise. All of these are compelling ways to begin this first step of a storytelling. So, doon nagsisimula yun. Yung emotional charge and recalling an experience no yung experience na yon uh, association yan eh ina associate natin yung story base dun sa object no yung object na ito nung makita mo yan meron ka maaalala na kwento yung litrato di ba yung larawan uh, may nakita kang larawan so meron ka maaalala ng kwento about that nung pangyayari noon Oh, no? So, a prompt, yung isang pangyayari diba? yung Parang bigla ang pangyayari lang A journal or a writing exercise So, all of these are compelling ways to begin The first step of storytelling Whatever process you use The story that begins to, co- to come into focus Must eventually have these essential features For personal narrative to be effective and memorable Okay? So, number one Na yan, Um essential features of a personal narrative to be effective and memorable. Siyempre, kailangan alam mo yung story mo, no? We have, you have setting, you have the characters, the conflict or tension, the narrative arc of rising action and increasing tension, sensory images within the action, dialogue within the action if possible in resolution of conflict. Kailangan alam mo yan. Once you know all of this, kaya mo nang ikwento no yung anumang story continue to refine your memory of an incident to improve recall of sensory details and the inherent conflict or problem the conflict of rising action can be an expectation or the anticipatory beginning of an adventure whatever makes us set up listen and ask that all important question what happens next it could be a high stakes or low stakes scenario as long as the outcome is uncertain in addition 
to a narrative arc with rising and falling action, consider the setting, sensory details, characters, dialogue. Just one or two lines of dialogue can bring personal story to life. So, yan. Uh, story selection, no? We want, you want to first understand the details of your story and then uh, come up with, uh, alam yun, yung, yung goal mo is to make your story uh, sounds and feels like very natural no that it can bring a personal story to life yung ilo may parang may intrigue mo yung audience mo what's next sabi nga so ano yung kasunod dun sa kwento mo that's the goal that's the goal in story selection kung hindi mo alam yung settings yung characters more likely ano eh um alam mo yun pag ikaw mismo naguguluhan ka Paano pa yung audience mo, di ba? So, in, in story selection, you have to understand, no? Y- itong mga sinasabi natin yung kanina, di ba? Yung settings, characters, conflicts. Yeah, those are impor- very important information. And this is the framework, no? Yung structure nga, no? bahagi ng iyong story. And kung ikaw, hindi mo alam yung mga part na yan, may hirapan ka rin na magkwento kasi hindi mo alam yung setting. Alam mo yun, kailan mo sabihin kung sinong karakter, sino pinag-uusapan natin dito, ano yung problema nila, di ba? Saan nagsimula yung problema? Paano natapos? Ano yung conclusion? Mga ganun. So, if you cannot recall or understand yung mga information na yun, may hirapan ka rin sa pagkwento. And sometimes, alam mo yun, yung feel mo na, teka, itong story to is a good in- story. And kapag kwento ko to sa kakilala ko, no, or sa audience ko, they will uh, be, ano ba yun, parang gusto nila na mas mapakinggan pa o malaman pa, marinig pa yung story mo. No? Sa so frame the story in sections, it's important no, to frame the story in section. Once you've selected the story, frame it using keywords and images, if possible. So draw the structure of the story any way you wish with a storyboard to show the, the scenes and outline the least its sequence. A narrative arc to show the rise and fall of action, perhaps an on index card with the section of the tail on each card or with the mind map no hindi eh, mo naman kailangan na ano eh, na buuhin no? lahat <laughs> lahat basahin mo di ba alam mo eh, lahat isulat mo rather hindi mo pwedeng lahat isulat mo so at least frame the story be aware that this is not a script but framing with trigger words drawing and images trigger words yung tipong pag nabasa mo yun yung keyword na yun maaalala mo na yung kasunod so a written script tends to restrict a spontaneous telling that is interactive with the audience often these graphic organizers are all you need to tell an effective story and to keep a record of your repertoire so see the graphic organizers in the chapter for some tools in creating the structure of your story mamaya yun no? yung mga mind map and then storyboard yung storyboard yung pinaka ginagamit sa industry no visualize the settings and characters number three so put the graphic organizer or index card aside and close your eyes imagine each setting as if it were a movie set forget the plot for a moment and look around your story's environment notice small details see color and light you are invisible on the set all your senses function except your hearing for now the imaginary world of your story is silent so kailangan silent muna visualize bakit kasi ano eh um we f- we have to visualize it first o sabihin natin na ito muna bago yung hearing no visualize it muna um to create focus on the visuals to create focus on the visuals of your story parang kung ikaw alam mo yun mahirap kasi mag-focus kung meron ka nang nakikita may na-expect ka pag maririnig no um, so you have to focus first na imaginary muna ano yung itsura ng aking settings no ano yung itsura ng kaliwa ng kanan para magkaroon ng focus kung alam mo yun focus lang uh, focus on the visuals 
Baka kasi mayroong ano eh, mayroong, ano, mayroong, may mga magulo eh. May mga mga magulo kapag mayroong sound. So, later na yung sound. So, this exercise calls upon your powers of concentration and may produce a sketchy result at first. Saka, sabi nga na, sinasabi nga natin, kapag kailangan visuals muna, kasi nga, uh, storytelling yung gagawin mo. So, you have to be very descriptive. Yung sound, yung, yung, alam mo yun, yung sound mo, yung hearing mo, yung pandilig mo about your settings, hindi naman siya ganong ano eh. In, in storytelling, hindi naman ganong, alam mo yun, pag sinabi mo, yung alon, nasa beach, di ba? Nasa nasa dagat ka, nasa tabi ka ng dagat like that, no? Nasa tabi ka ng dagat, narinig mo yung alon. Gagawin mo ba yung sound ng alon? Di ba? Hindi na. Sapat na yung word na narinig mo yung tunog ng alon and let your audience um visual or sa beten visualize or comprehend paano yung tunog ng alon, di ba? So, this exercise calls upon your powers of concentration, yeah, and may produce a sketchy result at first. But stay with it. If you can see only a few sensory details, try to sustain them. No, Try to sustain them for as long as you are able. With practice, you'll be able to use your intention to step into the atmosphere after a rainstorm. For example, feel the slippery, wet grass. Smell the distant rain, feel the damp chill on your skin, pick the battered rose in the garden, or taste a tangy bite of a fallen apple. So now that you have a good mental picture of the setting and the characters and their habits, see their mouths move as they talk and make facial expressions and hand gestures. Noted their clothes, their coloring, the expression in their eyes, and how they move. With this step, you have built and populated the world of the story with your accurate memory and focused imagination. Not yet allowing yourself to hear anything, thus temporarily hold your creativity in check. It is an artificial device, one I learned from my storytelling teacher. Who learned it from the famous storyteller Ruth Sawyer in her iconic book *The Way of the Storyteller*? Decades before Ruth Sawyer, Marie Shadlock considered storytelling a miniature play with the inward eye as a stage, as she wrote in her 1915 book *The Art of Storyteller*. After completing these exercises, you might want to revise your notes or add details to your graphic organizers. And number four. See the actions take place as if you're watching a silent movie. Wala pa ring audio, no? Wala pa ring sound. Close your eyes and run the silent movie of the full story. Begin with the first segment of your story and let the action roll. If you can visualize the story from beginning to end, keep trying. Go back to your graphic organizer and start again. As you watch the story, scenes move in exact sequence. Get a sense for which are fast-paced and which move slowly. Let the story build to its climatic scene. Then let it wind down to the end. Switch off your silent movie projector. This is the most important part of storytelling preparation. To the extent that you can visualize the story clearly in your mind's eye, pausing within its structure, you'll be able to speed it up, slow it down, adapt it to different listeners or audiences, and change it each time you tell it. When I practice for a storytelling presentation, I often have my eyes closed, reviewing the action, setting, and characters. This is much more essential step than rehearsing a written script. Yeah. So, actually, in storytelling, hindi mo kailangan ng written script. Ang kailangan mo lang is to structure and tamang visualization ng buong istorya mo. And bahala na yung words. No? Ikaw na yung bahala. How do you tell? Kasi i-adjust mo rin yung base dun sa audience mo. No? Tell the story aloud. Yan. After you visualize it, conceptualize it, visualize it, no, para ka nanonood ng movie, you have to tell the story aloud. Using your voice to project the image you visualize. Ngayon, yung nasa isip mo na kwento, na picture, now you're converting it into voice, your 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 voice from your mouth. No, the reason you've been a silent witness to the story settings characters in action is to keep your creative inner focus on the visual and sensory elements. You create all the sounds the story will e- ever have. Your voice is the story soundtrack. You provide a credible description, narrative, dialogue, sound effects, and emotional tone. Yan yung dapat mong practicein. Yung pagpuprovide ng credible description. Ano yung katangi ng isang karakter? Bakit siya ganito? Bakit siya ganyan? Narrative? Ano yung katangi ng kwento? No, anong problema? Dialogue, di ba? 
dialogue is where the drama will happen, di ba? Yung drama. Di ba, binabago mo pa nga yung boses mo uh, when you tell, halimbawa, a, 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 a conversation from an old man and then a child, babaguhin mo yung boses mo when when the when the dialogue is from the old man and then babaguhin mo rin yung boses mo from when the dialogue came from the the child, di ba? So, ganun. And then sound effects, di ba? sound effects meron ka pa niyan actually even yung hand gestures mo yan pero number 5 is story telling story aloud bakit aloud kasi alam mo walang kwenta yung kwento kapag hindi mo na ikwento ganun yung konsepto niyan walang kwenta yung kwento kung mahina kung mahina at hindi naiintindihan ng audience mo wala ring sense yo so you have to practice telling a story aloud no Uh, marami napakaramdam mo marami nakikinig sa iyo marami interesado dun sa story mo so yun dahilan switch to the silent movie of your story saying the words aloud as you watch the action unfold use your voice to literally produce the images in the air imagine a movie screen hovering like a holograph in the middle of the room and fill it with story images you see in your mind's eye listen to your own words change as you describe new details or hear new dialogue You might pause as you research for new words to match your inner vision and to achieve fluency. Yung fluency, yung continuity, mga ganong konsepto. They are very important in storytelling. Kasi pagka hindi mukhang fluent yung story mo, na-stuck yung audience mo sa kuya-kwento mo. Wala, antokin yun. Okay? So, refer to your graphic organizer as a cue if you're stuck and then start over. Tell your story a few times, refining the expression of your voice to reflect the story's images, emotions, and dialogue. You might record your story, your your telling of the story, and listen to your own voice as you continue to build the inner world with the eye of your imagination. Seeing and telling is dynamic, powerful practice. No, seeing and telling is dynamic and powerful practice. You have to practice it. Practicing speaking aloud, storytelling aloud. No. Uh, so that sanay ka na sa maraming audience number six is learn the story by heart not word per word yung sasabi ko nga sa inyo no, it's not about script writing um, kailangan mo lang is the structure of your story kabisado mo no so how will you do that deepen your connection to the story by isolating the truth in the story and rela- relating it to your own truths Spend time doing some research to verify the accuracy of your personal story. Consult with friends or family members who were there or had similar experiences. Even though you might not add the details you discover through research or learn from eyewitnesses to the late to the tale, they verify what you have remembered. You might then listen to your recording of the story and close your eyes at a time when you are most relaxed. Eh, most relax kaya sasabi ko sa inyo um, you have to learn things by heart not word for word no pag nag-review ka dapat nag-relax ka rin eh, para pumapasok yung ideya mo so your understanding of the layers of meaning in the story greatly adds to the telling of it this is the subtext it tells what cannot be said no minsan nababago-bago minsan na-adjust okay so number seven is practice telling the story until it comes naturally. So, ang pinaka-aim natin, katulog nung sinasabi ko, is that uh, you have to tell the story naturally. No? Uh, very organic, parang, alam mo yun, parang ikaw yung first, uh, ano ba, yung uh, first hand na naka-experience nung pangyayari. No? So, there are any number of ways to practice telling a story you can play your own recorded story and join in with your live voice until there is no hesitation in the flow of words recruit your family family friends or pets for a live audience that is often the best way tell it to a mirror without notes and watching your facial expressions and hand gestures videotape your telling and play it back For further refinement and to embed a story deeply within your mind, tell it why you're driving, jogging, or showering. The story when told is never perfectly performed because it's always changing. A storytelling is an interactive, dynamic art whose listeners are co-creators. Spontaneity modifies and adapts the telling to each new audience in situation. So, 
sabi nga walang perfect walang perfect uh, yung pagkaka-perform ng storytelling bakit walang perfect yung yung pagkakakwento ng storytelling Ay, alam mo yun yung art of storytelling kasi nga it's very dynamic ibig sabihin walang may alam kung yun ba talaga there's no way para ma-check mo na ito yung tamang kwento ito yung tamang storya ba diba? Uh, tamang words ano ganun ba meron kang fa- follow na ano at the end of the day when you storytell you are the captain of the ship no you are the storyteller so whatever you want your audience to know yun yun lang ilalabas sa bibig mo yung ayaw mo ilabas hindi wag ba diba? or kung nagkamali ka walang may alam na nagkamali ka nasa iyo lang yung kung papahalata mo nagkamali ka in your storytelling so that's why it's very interactive you are also alam mo yun, getting feedback from your audience when you storytell yung audience mo tinitingnan mo yung itsura yung yung, yung yung feedback noon and checking if ano na intindihan ba nila yung pinakwento ko o kaya ano ba interesado ba sila o hindi so that's why it's interactive and dynamic because it's changing continuously changing unending yung changes no and you change it because of your listeners kapag pakaramdam mo walang interest yung audience mo well magbabago ka ng way no so delivering techniques there are different delivery techniques no so number one is conversational storytelling alam mo yun, yung uh, telling a story in a social setting is the most lively and interactive para magkwento ka lang like, kapag usap ka lang no uh, to share personal story listeners can interject respond and comment alam mo yun pwede kang putulin Diba? Yan yung conversational. Using narratives told in the flow of the moment, some conversationalists capture the attention of a group without effort, easily launching into well-crafted tales. Others repeat the same old stories and often bore their friends and family, even when the tales are told with animation and humor. What makes an informal story unforgettable in this milieu? No, is the memorable story one that is convincing or that creates a bridge to a deeper understanding? So that's a question, diba? Sometimes, uh, if if um, it's a memorable story, no, um, yun yung sabi, convincing, no, convincing word to remember. Oh, may ganon, may storytelling na word to remember. Meron namang iba na alam mo creates a bridge to a deeper understanding. Parang para siyang rhetorical, alam mo yun? yung kwento masyadong rhetorical na mapapaisip yung audience mo teka. Kwento to ba yung kwento nito, 'di ba? So, alam mo yun? yung apektado sila. 'Di ba? Okay. So, now um First, choose a story that is relevant to the topic at hand, one that extends and uh, or enriches the cha- uh, enriches the exchange. Look for a hook to bring immediate notice or else use the transition as you begin. For example, if the conversation re- revolves around high school memories, you might startle your audience by saying, when I was in 8th grade, I wanted to go into conven- convent instead of high school. Once you grab their attention, begin with the scene. Use sensory details to set the action. Use a bit of dialogue and continue to that with the tension or conflict. Alam mo yun, um, meron tayong, yung, if you are familiar with, if you still remember the the purposive com o kaya oral communication, di ba? Um, in every, in every, yung gathering, in every gathering, meron tayong ani, alam mo yun, yung purpose kung bakit nandun yung nag-iipon-ipon yung mga audience mo and somewhat um, your storytelling should be connected to that hindi ka pwedeng magpasok ng hindi hindi alam mo yun, hindi angkop di ba alam mo nasa eskwelahan kayo hindi ay nga sabi na, they are talking about 8th grade dapat yung mga kwento mo about 8th grade din or or else meron kang way para maiba mabago mo yun pero when you are interrupting or sabihin natin na pumapasok ka pa lang sa eksena babang ka ka pa lang o nga no um you have to join yung purpose of the gathering ano yung pinag-uusapan what's the topic of the gathering and then yun dapat pasok no uh, tungkol doon doon sa topic na bakit sila nag, nag, nag-uusap o ano pinag-uusapan nila at pati sila nagkatipon-tipon okay 
So, so as you tell your story, call up the images of each scene in your mind's eye, project them, and imagine a small scene somewhere in midair. This is the key technique to having the story connect. As you visualize the events and project the, scene, project the scenes, your listeners will also see them and experience the action vicariously. You might literally lean on over a table or countertop to increase the intimacy and speak directly to each person in turn. Be aware of the rising action and keep the thread of your story going throughout the interactive nature of conversing. Return to the narrative and resolve the tension. What happens? What do you learn during the story events? How does the story relate to the overall discussion? Conversational storytelling can be practiced sessions for telling the same story in more challenging venue. So, practice lang yan. Professional storytelling. Now, this is more formal setting that has fewer distractions during the telling than a social story. A professional story advances your career or make a point about your expertise and could take, could take place in an interview, a public talk, or a classroom setting. In this pre- presentation, it is important to be well prepared so that you are able to touch the major points before or after your story. Consider the story types in Chapter 2 and prepare one that matches requirements. Yan. Yung professional is more of a, alam mo yun, yung professional gathering, alabawa, mm, pinahan ako sa gitna, pina, may microphone sa gitna, lahat na yung kinig sa'yo, no? And they will just listen. Hindi sila makikialam dun sa kwenikwento mo hanggang sa matapos ka. Sabi rito, while delivering the story, employ the subject, yan, employ the subject to confidence so that your commu- that you communicate your credibility along with the narrative. Practice the eye contact to include everyone in a natural, random way. We have to, I mean, eye contact. Tumingin ka sa audience mo because you need feedback from them. Visualize each scene and pro- project its reality with the steady quality of your voice. Keep your focus on the point of the story rather than on its drama. While there must be rising action to maintain the interest of your audience, the purpose of the narrative is not primarily to entertain. It is to market, to promote, or to demonstrate, or to persuade. So, ganun yung professional. No? Hindi na siya about entertaining. Yung conversation is about entertainment. Ito, mas malaki na to, no? Let's say, yung mga demo, yan, those are storytelling na professional. Use a minimum of hand gestures or body language and avoid pacing. This is the time to stand in your truth. Okay? And last, I think, last na to, the performance. Yan. How lights, camera, and, and now lights, camera, and action. This is a spectacular traditional art of storytelling to live audience, to live audience of any age. However, the nature of its drama differs from that of a play in that there is no fourth wall as there is a theatrical performance. The teller speaks to and includes the audience in an interactive process of story making. Further, the story does not take place on the stage and the spotlight is not on the storyteller. The arena of the story is the theater in the entire theater hall or room. It takes place within the imaginations both of the telling and all those listening. Yeah. So claim this the space. Imagine a line around and above the listeners. This is the story spear, no? Kapag ka nag ano ka, pag ka nagpe-perform ka ng storytelling, so lagi yan. So claim the space, own the stage. Ganyan. Imagine a line around and above the listeners. This is story spear. This is where it happens. It could be called the story tent for an one ring circus. It is the story tent made of thin air that is your canvas where you paint pictures with your spoken words. In the telling, your images merge with those of your listeners in an open-ended, accessible, invisible, and holographic display. As you tell the story, you possess a double vision. The inner eye that focuses on the setting, characters, and actions of the tale, and the outer eye that seeks to connect with every listeners. This bifocal ability is different from that of the actor who concentrates on an inner interpretation of his 
character. He does not directly engage the audience nor does he conjure up the specifics of setting, props, or other characters. The storyteller is a one-act player. The teller embodies the entirety of the story drama while at the same time eagerly connecting with those listening. Even if the group is too large to see everyone, the teller appears to make eye contact by looking at various sections of the room in a continuous sweep. Vocalization is important. The rise and fall of volume, the use of different voices, dialogue, and the clear articulation of words. Kailangan malinaw, di ba? So, vocalization. Alam mo yun, minsan may... Bago ka magkwento, di ba? Para naglilinis tayo ng lalamuna natin. <coughs> Night test, parang ganyan, di ba? That is vocalization. Bakit? Kasi alam mo yun, yung ayaw mo yun, bu- pumiyok ka bigla habang nagkwento ka, di ba? Nakakahiya. So, the rise and fall of volume, merong mga point na kailangan lakasan mo yung boses mo to attract again, to re- calibrate your audience again to recatch again your audience no um ayan attention so rise and fall may fall din ng volume hindi pwedeng lahat puro pasigaw hindi rin pwede at hindi rin pwede na lahat naman pa, pa mahina di pa bulong di ba so the use of different voices and dialogue yan may matanda may bata may babae may lalaki may bading whatever na gender may tomboy Diba? So that's important in dialogue Para magkaroon ng concept Kung sino yung nagsasalita Doon sa mga karakter So the clear articulation of the words diba? Meron kang iba't ibang boses For dialogue Hindi naman malinaw yung sinasabi mo So parang sayang din diba? So a voice coach can be an enormous help In learn how to speak with a diaphragm And not strain your vocal cords So practicing and recording your own voice Is an excellent way to hear the sound of your voice your skill in dialogue and your pacing yung pacing mo yung bilis o bagal while learning fluency in storytelling became aware of the importance of the pause yung kahalagaan ng pause paghinga no? your audience needs a break in the flow of words to absorb them to internalize their meaning and to create their own visuals diba? kailangan nila ng time hindi lang hindi pwedeng kwento ka na lang kwento ikaw alam mo na yung kwento eh, sila hindi pa alam yung kwento So, kailangan bagalan mo ng konti. Pacing ba? Para maunawaan. Give time for them. Parang imagine mo yung nagsusulat ka ng ano, ng, ng, kailangan pagka nagsulat ka, tapos nalagay mo sa video, yung earring naman niya sa video, dapat sapat din para mabasa yung pinapabasa mo. At may time din para naman maunawaan naman yung kunikwento mo. So, the musical score for solid te- telling drama is the emotional tone of your voice and your subtext. What is not what isn't said listen to the emotional tone and how it changes so since the greatest focus during delivery is voice production of the story in all its aspect there's a little need for large hand gestures actual props and costume that is simplicity of the art some professional performers do wear costumes and might have musical accompaniment but this only enhances the art they are not necessarily elements so hindi talaga sila kailangan or required diba So, um, some theatrical storytellers act out the characters in the story more completed by moving to different parts of the stage to speak in characters than a narrator than another character. These techniques might add to the storytelling experience but also might distract. Be alert to the possibility of dramatic telling that shifts away from the shared co-creative experience of the audience. It is the identification of the audience with the story that makes us unforgettable. Your identification. Only when the audience experience the story as their own, do they remember it as if they lived it. Yun lang yun. No? Kapag ka na-identify when audience experience the story as their own, pag pakaramdam nila, naranasan nila mismo yung kwento. Ganun katindi yung description ng ng storytelling mo. No? Saka lang yung maiging matandaan ng audience mo. So there are media options in storytelling. Yeah. So we have a written story, as I told through articles, blog, posts, or even social media such as Twitter thread. Uh, short personal brand stories can be highlighted on website or promotional print materials. 
Yan, yung written story. And of course, a spoken story can be told in person and social settings as a performance or a professional presentation, pitch or panel. TED Talks are considered spoken stories. The moth story competitions or story slams are popular and feature episodes around teams. Because of their live, unedited nature, spoken stories require more practice and skill to convey images and elicit emotions in others. This is by far the most effective option. Yan, an audio story, yung pure audio lang. Yan, parang radio, di ba? It's a spoken aloud but recorded. Audio stories are usually in podcast form. With today's technology, creating an audio story is more possible than ever. Yan, then it can be distributed on social media or through a subscription. Storytelling podcasts are currently part of public radio programming and can be enjoyed either live or steam, stream rather, from the archives of the broadcast. A digital story, no? Kaya ito marami yan. Kaya ang multimedia storytelling eh. Yung pinag-uusapan natin. Kasi maraming media. And sometimes a single story can be uh, tell, no? Can be told in different manner. In different media. So we have the four digital story. It's told through a variety of visual media. Such as video, animation, interactive formats. Such as Wattpad and even games. As YouTube channels and experience inexpensive way to launch storytelling platforms since the video quality is not so important as conveying the powerful experiences of given story. Yan. And these are the tools and organizers. Yung storyboard, board, storyboard, ganyan yung itsura niya. No? Um, itang ko pa. Yan yung storyboard. Diba? Meron ka rito nangyari from left, left, and then right, left, right, left, right. Yan. And then, the my web Yan, story map. Meron ko na sa gitna. Dito yung mga supporting details, supporting sto- uh, stories. Pwede yung magdagdag pa ng supporting additional stories. And number two, story map, outline template. Ayan. So, those are the tools that you can use in developing or creating yung iyong storytelling. No? You have the outline template no sun setting where when major characters minor characters plot problem event 1 event 2 event 3 and then outcome meron ka ring mind map ayan and last is the storyboard usually storyboard yung ginagamit sa industry bakit kasi kapag storyboard alam mo yun um hindi mo na kailangan ng paliwanag eh uh, pinapaliwanag na nakasulat na doon eh. hindi na kailangan ng 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 kasunod na magkukuwento kung ano yung meaning nun sa, sa kung mind map yung gagamitin. Kung storyboard sinusulat mo kung ano yung nangyayari, pinapakita mo kung ano yung nangyayari. Mas effective yun, mas standard. Okay? So, I hope uh, thank you so much for listening dito sa aking uh, ni-record na lecture. Um, thank you so much and uh, uh, have a good day. And by the way, kung hindi ka pa naka-follow sa aking, hindi ka pa naka-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel, please subscribe now. Uh, also, invite your friends to subscribe yung aking social media, yung aking YouTube channel para, alam mo yun, para, wala, para di naman sayang yung aking recordings. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.